Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I'm hoping I can get like 10 minutes in on this video. So, this video is pretty much going to be a little bit different from the stuff that I normally discuss on my channel. Normally my channel is only about makeup, but um, something that's just been bothering me a little bit and I wanted to share it with you all and use my channel as the place to share it. So, um... As you guys know, in the last like couple days, last week or so, there was the you know the shooting in South Carolina. Um, my condolences to the families that were affected by that. It was a very, very, very heavy subject. Very heavy subject on Twitter lately. A lot of heavy racial subjects have been discussed on Twitter. So, with that being said. Um, a lot of people have been discussing um, the guy that was involved in the shooting, the people that were affected in the shooting. Um, a lot of people have been talking about, you know, the Confederate fat flag. Um, that shooting was in South Carolina, and I in the South they do. There are people that do wave the Confederate flag. Now, with that being said, um, the Confederate flag in the U.S. has a long history, and it has a lot of meanings. It has the original meaning, and then it has the adopted meaning that. Um, a certain group of people have adopted. So with that being said, um, on Twitter today, this happened today, and I decided let me just, you know, re record this video today. Um, also, disclaimer regarding this whole video, if I get any negative com comments, I'm most likely going to block you. I don't normally block people. You're entitled to your own, to your own opinion. I just don't want to hear any negative. I don't want to see any negativity in my comment section. You have been warned. So, um, with that being said, today on Twitter, there's been a lot of discussion about the, the shooting that happened, um, and, you know, about the Confederate flag, and there was this particular post, matter of fact, it was a response to a post that I saw, and normally, if I see something on Twitter that I don't agree with, and I think it's stupid, I normally, most, 99.99999% of the time, I don't respond, I just ignore it, I just laugh, I'm like, oh, they're stupid. But this particular one kind of like really aggravated me just a little bit. Like I wasn't mad. I don't ever get mad about stuff on Twitter. But it was just a little bit irritating. And I really don't like when people talk about stuff and they have no idea what they're talking about. Or they're trolling in the comment section, reading comments, and they don't understand the full story. So what pretty much happened, and I'm going to try to link the pictures somewhere of the screenshots of the whole conversation so you guys can see it. So... I'm going to read from my phone so that you guys, so like you can know exactly what happened. But I'm going to try my best to put the photos in this video so you guys can see it. So, the original comment was from um, Twitter name JC Layfield. Um, he actually has like 66, like he has a lot of followers. I'm, I don't know who he is personally. Um, but he posted this post saying that the Confederate flag has become the symbol has come to symbolize hatred, discrimination, ignorance. I find it repulsive. Shame on anyone for flying it. Now, when you read this post, he um, he's not being racist. He's not. He's just giving his opinion of how he feels about the flag. Now, if any of you guys know about the Confederate flag, its original meaning, the Confederate flag. Um, represented rep represented something else way back when than what it represents now and he pretty much he said in there the confederate flag has become symbolized has become meaning that it's become something different from what it originally was so i went back and saw this original post now the thing that kind of like got on my nerves and let me see if i can find it let me go back so that was the original post Find the diagonal picture. Okay, so I read you the original post. Now, you know, there's people that are commenting because there's going to be a lot of people that don't agree with what he's saying, which is fine. You don't have to agree with what he's saying. What he's saying. But I understood what he was trying to say. Um, I'm, in, I'm in Hawaii. Nobody flies on Confederate flag here, but I know about the Confederate flag and its history and what is, it has become. So now, people, you know, started commenting. One guy said, sorry. I'm from the South. I'm not racist, but I would fly the flag in a heartbeat is where I'm from. And okay, I completely understand. He's saying he's not racist and he he most likely understands the meaning and the history behind it. And he probably does not agree with the way the Confederate flag is being used today. Okay, so 
Um, the guy ended up responding to him again, but then, you know, we get the troll people that comment and don't really know what they're talking about and they start sounding really stupid. And then that's when it just got really irritating. So the guy responded and was like, this is what, this was some random dude that just hops in the comments section and starts commenting about it. And he was like, would you say the same thing that people find the Mexican flag or the Puerto Rican flag here? Not trolling, just asking. Now, when you leave a stupid comment like that, I'm going to come for you. Well, I didn't come for him. I responded. He said, actually, they all have meaning in history, be it good or bad. Now... The thing is, is that he's trolling and he doesn't under, he doesn't even know the beginning of the conversation. So he's in the conversation and don't, he's pretty much dipping in the Kool-Aid and don't know the flavor is what he's doing pretty much. Okay. So I respond and I said, yeah, but the KKK aren't holding um, those flags. The KKK is not holding the Puerto Rican flag and the Mexican flag. They're holding the Confederate flag. And I went on beautiful Google and I tagged him into the picture of the Confederate flag. Now the point of me tagging him in the picture of the Confederate flag so that he could understand where, what the guy was saying. He's saying that the Confederate flag has, has adopted a new meaning for a certain group. And that's what he's saying. So he's saying people that Still use the Confederate flag. Shame on you because it has this meaning. Whether you believe it or not, whether you want to accept it, the KKK waves the Confederate flag. Period. Okay? I wasn't, like, mad about this. It's pretty much like history one-on-one. -on -one, and some people weren't getting it. So I made him get it. Now, once I did that, I, like, probably, like, 20 people started following me. People started, re people started retweeting it and talking about it. And one dude was like, well, that's the Confederate flag, young lady. And somebody was like, that's her point. Like, see, like everybody now, everybody gets my point of what I was trying to say. So I had another um, dumb, dumb try to try to put me on blast. He was like, that's not, he's like, that's just the Dixie slash rebel flag in the picture. That's not the real Confederate flag. If you, if you do your history, you would know that the Dixie slash rebel flag and the Confederate flag is the same thing. But I don't think he knew that. So I, um, again, get on beautiful Google. Thank you, Google. And, and the only thing I say was, the only thing I said was, okay. And I did the little flat smiley face and I Google searched the Confederate flag and the Dixie flag. And it looks the same to me. Now, the whole point of this video is if you don't know what you're talking about, stay out of people's mentions, stay out of people's comments. If you don't know what you're talking about, or if you don't, like, just do your research first and all this stuff will be prevented. And the only reason why I commented, um, on the, the only reason why I con uh, commented and replied to the guy was the simple fact that he didn't get what the guy was saying. And it wasn't like I was trying to be mean or try to make him feel stupid. It was just the fact that, okay, this is what he's trying to say. He's trying to say that the meaning of the Confederate flag has became a racial, like it's people, the KKK waves the Confederate flag. It's pretty much what he was trying to say and that people should not be still using the flag. If you want to see still use the Confederate flag, that's you. It, it doesn't bother me. It, it doesn't, I don't care. Cause I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's just the point of the fact that he didn't understand what the whole conversation was about. And I was trying to get him to understand the whole conversation is about. And a lot of people, there's people that don't even realize that the KKK uses, like that's their flag. They use that flag. People don't even realize that. And so now you know. So, um, yeah. So that's just pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, when it comes to history, and geography, like, when people sound really stupid, like, I really have to just jump in and put in my two cents because it aggravates me when people do not understand what history is or what certain stuff stands for or what it's become. Like, it's frustrating. So I just needed to vent to you guys about that. Um, there is some... Today, I don't know what was going on today. There was a lot of stupid people on Twitter today. With that being said, I'm probably going to take, like, a couple hours break from Twitter because... It's just a lot of retarded people on Twitter. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like these, let me know. If you do or make more videos like these, I try to keep my channel in the the beauty circle. But if you guys like videos like these, I'll post more videos like these. But 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, brownbeauty 808 If you not have, if you have not liked this video, you need to go ahead and like this video. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.